there's no time to waste or put off if you have not already started purchasing assets. By assets, I mean things that hold real value, things that have real use, things that people desire and need um, to get through life for the most part. And things that, no matter what, fire sale or not, you will always get something from it. It has some real value, like I said. Uh, example, and what, once, you, once you've started to accumulate, or maybe you have accumulated and you're, you're doing more, once you get out there and you get pretty versed with that, then get out there and teach and show other people and help other people of all ages. Children is great to get them involved, small, and then adults that don't know or, or don't do it. I, I think it's, it's essential especially because the powers that be, the powers that shouldn't be, um, the bank, the people with the banks, finance, the kings and queens, the president, the, you know, the people in Congress, the politicians, a lot of them are puppets, and they're actually working for other entities. They're working for the top stream. And the top stream and some of those politicians, some of those puppets even, uh, they accumulate real assets, real value. They don't really involve themselves in the stock market. They don't buy stocks. They don't buy mutual funds. They don't buy all these other things that are made up, all these things that are made and put together to get people purchasing these dollar-based assets which have no real value to them. Um, in the end, while everyone else is busy doing this and spending their time and money on this, because yes, could, could you make some big gains? Absolutely. But if you stay in it forever, it, it's worthless. It, it, in my opinion, it, it does no good. All it does is have you looking in one way while well, real stuff is being accumulated on the back end, and once all that real stuff's accumulated and picked up, then there's no more. There's no more hard assets. So I can always make more digits. They can always print more paper currency. You can always make more programs, more incentives, more packages, more mutual funds, more whatever you want to call it, to get people buying, purchasing, involved in that kind of stuff because it has no value to it. But the stuff that's real, the land, the gold, the silver, the hard assets, that, that there's, there's a limited amount and that's that. And they're accumulating. They're, they're, the people at the top tier are accumulating all the assets and all the land and all the mineral rights, that kind of stuff. I've been over this before. While the plethora, the, the majority of everyone in the population is busy just being entertained, paying for entertainment, and buying these digital things that really have no value whatsoever. In the end, there's no value to them. Anyways, so I just, an example of assets to start looking into accumulating gold, silver, guns, ammo, land, properties, um, raising chickens, raising rabbits, uh, gardening, seeds, um, there's gardening tools, gardening knowledge, just learning that kind of stuff. Um, start making connections with people in your community and especially farmers. Start making connections, get a relationship with them. Maybe it's to purchase from them or maybe it's to ask them for help or have them, you know, you, you emulate what they're doing or you learn from them. Um, or any other one, any, anyone else in your community that has some skills that you desire or you, you feel you're lacking it, that you need to uh, strive for it, start making connections with them and then learn some of that stuff. Um, so educate yourself in the things you were not versed in, like I said, and then help others, help others, it's essential. And as you do this, your community will grow larger and larger, and you'll be more sufficient to help and, and, and grow and keep progressing. Uh, just remember, your most, valuable asset, your most valuable asset is your time. What you choose to do with it is the difference, whether that be positive or negative. No matter what, what you choose to do with your asset, your most valuable asset of your time, makes the difference positive or negative. How much negative, how much positive, that's, that's all on you. That's your time. Um, so just for a, a little example here of these things that I'm talking about, 
Well, people say, I, I can't, I don't have money, I don't have time, I don't have this or that or whatever, but I just got some of these things, maybe you do some of these, maybe you don't, but whatever, I see this happening, I hear about it. Um, so these are just ideas. So maybe stop going to the bar with $50 a week or every few days. Instead of going to the bar with $50, each time you want to go to the bar with $50, that bite, that's two ounces of silver. Purchase two ounces of silver instead. Start accumulating that way. Um, how about go to the casino? You go to the casino with $40 or $400. So if it's $40, instead of going to the casino for $4, 400, instead of going to the casino uh, once a week or once a month with $40, buy an ounce and a half of silver. That's it. So if it's weekly, you get an ounce and a half of silver a week. Um, go to the casino with $500. Instead, purchase a quarter ounce of gold. Purchase a quarter ounce of gold. So go to the casino with $500. Because you're like, oh, I'm going to strike it big. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this, do that. Nine times out of ten, casino is there because you're going to lose. Casino is going to win. That's how they get larger and larger and that's how they thrive because odds are against you. If you're purchasing a, a, a quarter ounce of gold four times, if you if you went monthly there, after four months you get an ounce of gold basically. Whereas if you didn't do that and you went there those four times, you're out $2,000. That's sad. It's simple. Um, we got purchase your daily $6 to $10 uh, coffee or latte or, or whatever that is. Um, instead, of, instead of doing that, purchase an ounce of silver weekly. That's about the same. If it's $6 a day times five, that's 30 bucks, that's an ounce of silver. A week, that's a week. Um, so lottery tickets and scratch offs and all that kind of stuff. You are expected to lose money if you play the lottery scratch-offs or just your lottery tickets basically and there's no guarantee you will keep the winning winnings if you ever do by chance you just put it back into it scratch-offs are are huge for that if you get you know, five dollars you get a twenty dollar winner well you put it back into scratch-offs most of the time not all most of the time yeah you win a huge lottery powerball whatever you want to call it well, you see what happens to the winners. Barely any of them ever keep that wealth at all. It's a flash in the pan. That's it. Because they've not got accustomed to it. They, they haven't learned the skill of that. They come this lump sum and it just burns up. It's like a child with, with a, a dangerous tool that they don't know what to use or do with. It's dangerous. It could cause a lot of havoc and harm to that child. Same deal, same principle. It's may cause people harm, but it's going to go away. It's just going to burn up. Not always. Most of the time, though. Uh, so instead of smoking, how, instead of smoking cigarettes, um, so instead of smoking a pack a day, purchase two ounces of silver weekly. Instead of smoking that pack a day, it's two ounces of silver a week. Actually, it's more than two ounces of silver a week. Um, but on average, you buy two ounces of silver a week. You quit, you kick the habit, two ounces of silver weekly. I think over the year, I mean, that, that's so much more silver than you have from the prior year where you, you accumulated nothing except you smoked a pack of cigarettes a day. Expensive. Um, instead of smoking, oh, that's why I just remember that. So, uh, how about sports ball? Any sports games, professional sports games? Golf, golfing. Yeah, I know it's entertainment, whatever, but cut down on it or just stop doing it. Um, instead of purchasing uh, your, your weekly golf uh, rounds, that kind of stuff, or instead of going to your, your weekly or your bi-weekly sports ball games, your football, your basketball, your hockey, your, your baseball, that kind of stuff, stop, watch it on television if you have to. Um, watch it at someone else's place that has it for free because they have whatever the stations that are needed to watch it. Um, listen to it on the radio, whatever. Figure it out. You can find it on the internet. There's ways to do it to 
not have to beat in there and perp it and personally I mean and purchase real stuff uh, a tenth ounce of silver a quarter ounce of silver I mean a tenth ounce of gold a quarter ounce of gold um, ounces of silver a few ounces maybe five ounces of silver here or there maybe maybe you know 20 maybe a whole round of silver 20 ounces of silver um, you could do a, an ounce of gold eventually maybe half an ounce of gold depends on how much is being spent if you get season tickets for football or basketball or baseball there that's expensive and it's not just the tickets that cost a lot once you're there it's buying all of the the stuff all of the the sodas all of the drinks all of the food concessions that kind of stuff that all adds up and then to pay for parking i mean you, you know the realm just think of it that way it's just being thrown away on entertainment that's it it's not wealth building it's not wealth preservation at all it's doing the exact opposite it's wealth draining period for yourself and and your family and future generations that you know might come um, from your loins I should say but anyways how about uh, another simple one I think a lot of people have done this and, and I could be that's great and I you know it'd be awesome if more do and, and then all uh, cut the cable or satellite bill just stop that's it get rid of it you know there's free stuff to find like Pluto is it's free you can watch television using Pluto um, that kind of stuff uh, purchase two to three so you cut that and you can purchase two to three ounces of silver a month it just just that one small simple bill you can purchase two three ounces of silver a month so let's say it's three ounces a month well by the end of the year I mean you're you're sitting on you know a good amount and then you get that times five you know after five years of doing this your accumulation is getting up there and um, and I'm, I'm, I'm saying this because as you're drinking these weekly coffees or these daily coffees, these daily lattes, you're paying a lot of money on your entertainment. And whether your entertainment is for your, your coffee, your entertainment's for going to the bar, the casino, these sports ball games, golf, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. It's, it's just, your, it's a lot of money being spent in entertainment and no money really being spent on your wealth preservation and your wealth building because in the end there's emergencies and stuff comes up and you 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 want to be in a position where you're like I got this I can take care of this because I would was watching I was helping I was you know I've got this this thing here nest egg whatever you want to call it that I can fall back on at times when I need it and then it, it starts out real small. Maybe it's a $500 deal. Maybe, maybe it's a, a $200 that you were able to put away in silver, whatever. Um, and then as time goes on, it, it grows. And maybe then it's $2,000 worth of silver. Maybe later on it's $10,000 worth of gold and silver. And don't think of it just as gold and silver. I mean, that's real money. If you come in a bind, you can liquidate it easy so fast so simple so easy you just got to take it or go get it if you got it storage or you can call up the place you have it storage tell them you want to liquidate it they'll send you a check or you just bring the actual items if they're your place or you go to pick them up remember where they're stored just drive them to a, a coin dealer that you trust and they'll give you cash right there or a check on the spot liquidate it that's it it's easy you get in a bind bam it's easy versus if you're putting all this money in your 401k or an IRA or even investing in these stocks I say investing that's that's an oxymoron in my opinion but in these stocks on you know e-trade or whatever those other places are online you can't liquidate to get it real in your hands right away fast that fast as fast as you get gold or silver you have to go on there you you know, go on the computer whatever you, you say sell it sells by the end of the day whatever you, you sold it but then you got to collect somehow so it takes a little bit and they'll send you a check eventually you know 
and then you gotta go from the check and you gotta go cash it or deposit it, whatever you wanna call it. It just, it takes a lot more time, especially if you're in a bind. That gold or silver, or both liquidation, it's, it's fast, super fast. And why do I say this instead of storing cash away? Well, cash is worthless, basically. It's, it's almost as worthless as the digits that you don't see that are numbers of your checkbook or on your cell phone when you look in your account, there's all these numbers. Yes, you, you falsely feel that's wealth. You falsely feel that's money. It's not. It's just digits that are there being held by someone else, some other entity, some bank, some corporation saying, yeah, we're holding this for you. When, when they're, they've spent it, it's gone for the most part. If you have a lot of money in there or a lot of digits in there, or a lot of currency in there, and you want to pull it out, there's going to be problems, especially if you want to pull it out in physical form of paper. You want to go get cash. I mean, They'll have problems. I'm not talking $200. I'm talking if you want to pull $2,000. How about $10,000? $20,000? Yeah, that's, that's not going to happen. It's, it's, it's going to be a struggle. But anyways, that's not what this is about. It's about just thinking about this, that the people at the, the, you know, the masters, the puppet masters at the realm, at the helm of this thing, they're the ones buying up all the assets, all the land access, all the water access, all the mineral rights, all, I mean, not all, but as much gold and silver as they can, as much X, Y, Z that they can, that's real gold, good, hard assets, as the majority, the billions of people are involved in this digital cash, um, digital dollar-based or other fiat currency based depending on what country you're in some sort of a stock system you know stock and bonds system ponzi schemes that they have going on that's what they're doing and i i feel i have, I have other um things on this but I, I feel like cryptocurrency is basically the same thing uh for the most part but anyways that's that's a story for a different time uh, anyways, I just want to thank you for watching this. If you like this, like, share, subscribe. As always, stay vigilant. So.